Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to our channel, where we bring you the latest news and intriguing discussions from the world of royalty. If you're new here, we invite you to become a part of our royal community by hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to show your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Today, we delve into a topic that has sparked heated debates and strong opinions among royal enthusiasts. It seems that Prince William's recent decision regarding his son, Prince George, has left some people questioning tradition and the future of the monarchy. And Widdicombe, a former minister and shadow home secretary, joined our discussion with Den Wooten to explore the speculation surrounding Prince George's potential decision not to join the armed forces. Reports have suggested that the nine-year-old prince might deviate from the customary path followed by British kings, which has caught the attention of many. As the second in line to the throne, Prince George is not expected to serve in the military before ascending to his royal duties. The Mail on Sunday reported that the future king will be able to shape his own destiny before succeeding his father, Prince William. While this decision might be seen as a step towards modernization, it also raises eyebrows considering the monarch's role as the commander-in-chief of the British Armed Forces. Throughout history, leading members of the royal family have proudly served in the armed forces, taking the oaths of allegiance to the reigning monarch. This tradition has not only displayed their dedication to the country but also allowed them to understand the military's values and responsibilities firsthand. And Whittacombe expressed her concerns, stating, I think it's insane, and I think if that really is what William has decided, and we only have one report, he's just lost the plot. She emphasized the importance of heirs to the throne serving in the armed services, not merely as a fluffy tradition, but as a way to forge a deep connection with the country they will one day lead. It is indeed a sensitive matter, and opinions may differ. If Prince George chooses not to embrace royal life, that decision should be respected. However, it could mean giving up his birthright as the future King of the United Kingdom. Throughout centuries, the royal family has shared a profound bond with the armed forces, with past monarchs even leading troops into battle. Queen Elizabeth II herself served during the 1940 hours, displaying her commitment to her people and country. Prince Harry, in his own right, joined the front line, serving in Afghanistan and showing his dedication as a forward air controller and Apache helicopter pilot with the Army Air Corps. We want to hear your thoughts on this matter. Share your opinions in the comments below, and let's engage in a respectful and thoughtful conversation. As we wrap up this intriguing discussion, we extend our heartfelt thanks to all our subscribers and those who have liked this video. Your support means the world to us. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time to join our royal journey. Thank you for being a part of our community. Until next time, stay royal and keep spreading the love.